I'm Frank Goser. I'm a full-time potter who's been working for the last 26 years as off-center ceramics. When I first started, I was still teaching at the UVO Craft Center and using their facilities. But when I went out on my own, being a potter requires a lot of physical plant. You need kilns, you need wheels. I had some of it, but not nearly enough. And so fortunately for me, I was able to join Club Mud, the pottery co-op here at Watt Kearns Art Center. We've got a full facility, we've got wheels, we've got electric kilns, we've got gas kilns, including the 50 cubic foot monster that I like to do my glaze firing in now. At this point in my career, I have a home studio where I do everything through the first firing, then I bring it all down to Club Mud, glaze and decorate, hand paint everything, birds and animals mostly. mostly behaved itself this time. I had a pretty successful fire. There's still a little air leak down at the bottom on the door side that uh, means I have some bowls that are oxidized. <laughs> After which it's time to take it out, inventory it, price it, and take it on the road. I sell at the Eugene Saturday Market and Holiday Market and about six to eight road shows a year. Just got back from one a couple of weeks ago in Medford called Clay Folk. That's probably my best of the year. When I am not making and firing clay pots, I also do some tile work. I've done commissions, backsplashes, surrounds. I like to play around with uh, animal imagery and sort of scenery on tiles. I have some mirrors, in fact, here in the show that are tile surrounds as well. It's all hand-thrown, hand-painted, no stencils, no decals, handmade brushes that I make from roadkill squirrels. Makes a very long, flexible tip. Makes a beautiful line quality. I'm really fortunate that the kind of thing that I like to make and like to draw on and decorate is popular, so I can make a living selling it. I don't do a lot of sculpture these days. I used to do more when I had a gallery and before the pottery business exploded, but I try and do at least one or two a year for Ceramic Showcase or Clayfest. This one here was inspired by the notion that Christopher Robin grew up reading Calvin and Hobbes cartoons, in which case this is what Winnie the Pooh looks like. <laughs> <laughs>